Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain for you the fourth method in, in the basic uh, method of drawing a plan or how to draw a plan. And it's basically depending on using a JPEG or an image that you might be, uh, you know, scanned or downloaded from the internet. I'll go ahead and uh, start up a new AutoCAD file and uh, I'll go AutoCAD ISO and then in order to see what type of unit I'm going to have it's a good idea to go to the image and have a look at it I downloaded this image from the internet and uh, uh, again it's a uh, it's, uh, have some basic dimensions here and it's actually two dimensions the overall uh, north uh, projection uh, it's here 11, 1100 or it's actually 1190 so it's in centimeter uh, I didn't really like that but anyway I'll go back to AutoCAD and uh, just uh, use units and I'll fix that to millimeter cool so in the insert I'll go to attach and then navigate through to the uh, location of uh, you know the where is it that's my flash it's really mess isn't it so again why it's look like upside down anyway uh, so AutoCAD do I feel myself completely lost in here yes I am anyway so that's my flash and this is the semester that I'm looking for yep now we are right and cool where is it it's a uh, six I think yep that's the fourth method you easily can lost in my flash so I don't need any password protection a normal human being will lost in it uh, that's method four image yep so I'll accept the default setting here I'll just say okay and then I click the first point for the image and then the second for the second point for the image so that's the image and as you can see it's in centimeter so I'll change the color for the lines to red because it's really gonna painful for your eyes if that's white line on the white background anyway so <clears throat> we don't know how much the distance from this point to this point but if we zoom in approximately here and we just fix a point wherever it is and then with hitting f8 you know i'll zoom out my hand and push it to the right side and give it this number which is uh 1190 that's a centimeter so i have to add a zero so one one eleven hundred and then nine hundred here eleven uh eleven 11900 zero, zero, 11900 and then I hit space so that's my line that's the real actual dimension here that's the real line here that have almost uh, 12 meter while this guy the image is not to scale now we need to make this image scaled up from this point specifically which is the shared point between the image and my line and that's the end here exactly you know of the image that I want to scale it up and make it you know touch that point so in this case we need a scale command but not the scale uh, factor that I have you know explained before that you have to give anything bigger than one will make increase in the size anything smaller than one uh, will make the picture get goes smaller because we don't know the actual dimension to refresh it back to the original one that we have so in this case we need to use a different method of scale and that's basically scale reference anyway so sc that's this the, that's the command scale it's space I'm gonna ask you to select object select that guy the frame don't get inside it and select it now go to the frame select it finish the selection with the space now it will tell you to specify the base point obviously it should be this common point between the image and the line so click now see it's asking to scale factor or give me a number and instead if you look down here you find an option of reference so hit R space now 
you need three points you need the start point of the image here you need the end point of the image so let's say something like here and then you need the end point of the line the reference the correct distance which is this guy here now it's scaled up it might be painful I know you need a couple of time to you know practice that now let's test this and so who said it's right I'll offset that at 200 mil just a guess and you see my guess almost right it is right actually so now it said uh, 3750 so offset 3750 and go that way see beautiful now offset 200 so now I'm actually, you know, drawing and digitizing this image that I get from the internet. You will find that useful when you have your site gained from Google Earth and you, you know, like you use the, the width of the street as a reference. And then you can draw the actual uh, side boundary based on that. See, offset 3600 now and then offset 200 and then offset I don't know how much is this 7700 beautiful offset 200 if little little bits of this is not really matching it's okay like I don't be really fuss about it you actually have this numbers you have the overall correct so you don't need to worry much about it so again that's a hundred one thousand eight hundred I think and then offset of a two hundred probably we need to fill it that guy with that guy fill it that guy with that guy and then we offset to 40 2400 sorry and then offset here 200 And then offset 1400 like that. And then offset the 200. So technically, we don't need those. And we don't need those. We're going to remove them with trim. Now we need to offset 3 meter to get that. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, offset the 200 mil to get this one now that's a little bit of you know uh, inconsistency in the but if this is 900 so it should be 1800 so I think I have to push all that a hundred mil that way so probably there is a mistake in the distance in here anyway let me check if that was right seven seven hundred so yeah probably we push that that's a 3 1, that's a 2 4 anyway. So probably we can push that an extra 100 to get that uh, exactly fixed. We'll fill it that guy and that guy, and then you have to just remove the image. You know, to get the pain out of your eyes. Uh, that's it. You just can't go ahead. And you know, trim whatever you want, and then fill it whatever you want, and add your uh, doors and opening and everything else. But basically, you got this, you know, scaled or digitized. I think there is only one mistake here in the 1800, or it should be this is 1900. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's look like 1800, and it's almost correct to the maximum level that we could, and. Uh, it's a good way you can use it to digitize all documents you can usually when you go to get a new job you, they can ask you to scan some document and then uh, change them into uh, an AutoCAD and create a new set of drawing a digital set of drawing for them so probably this method uh, will be useful for you I wish that you find this uh, video useful for you uh, have a good day and bye bye